At Oxford College of Business, we offer world-class business qualifications awarded by some of the best universities in the world. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. After taking the views of the Defence Secretary and other ministers into consideration, the Prime Minister presented the policy and legal framework for the proposed Act on Prevention of Terrorism. The Cabinet of Ministers approved the framework and instructed to draft the proposed Act accordingly. Discussions regarding EDCA has not yet been finalised. The MOU between India and Sri Lanka will be signed by those relevant officials. It does not contain any definite points. What it mentions is a framework related to 10 areas, including society, trade and economy. Before signing anything, discussions will be held with all relevant parties. Prime Minister Modi will not be coming here to sign any of these agreements. <laughs> What would happen if we do give it on lease? These are oil tanks which India is operating at the moment. And these are ones we claim as ours and don't use anyway. I asked the cabinet yesterday, what have we done with these oil tanks after keeping them for 100 years? These will not be handed over to anybody. Some of these oil tanks will be operated as a joint venture while the rest will be given on lease for 50 years. <laughs> It was a collective decision by the Minister of Environment and all the environmentalists to select Muturajavela and Dompe as suitable locations. Although they describe Mithoramulla as ancestral land, it is reduced to just Mithoramulla when it comes to garbage. Their federalism is just limited to roadside chat. <laughs>